Now, here we have a rotor from a shaded pole motor. It is made up of many laminated thin plates of mild steel, which basically means it does not retain any magnetism once it is removed from a magnetic field. Between the plates, you can see there are copper bars placed at a slight incline or angle, I believe to cover more rotational surface area and probably smoothing the turning performance. As the magnetic field increases in voltage from the influence of the armature, it also creates or induces an electrical voltage in the copper bars, which are short-circuited at the ends of the rotor, which is the term used in any explanation I have read. This creates an electrical resistance in the bars, which then causes a magnetic field in the rotor between these bars. Being as how every electrical Everything electrical takes a tiny amount of time to react as a result of molecular inertia. There is a small but definite lag in the buildup and decay of magnetic activity in the armature and hence the rotor. Even with the alternating current action forcing these motions in the electrical conductors, they can't speed this process along.